Uh, let, let's just get out of the way what, what we expect, at least, from OPEC. Naimi, the Saudi minister, has said expect a rollover at the current target of, what, 30 million? Yeah, absolutely. So, so we're steady. Absolutely. And, and Naimi has said that, you know, that they regard it as a, a very good price. He said that, you know, 100, 110, even 95 dollars a barrel is a very good price for them. So, you know, we expect little change. And if anything, people have taken that as slightly bearish that he mentioned 95, which was a little bit lower than we've, we've traded at for the last couple of years. Um, I mentioned the futures at 110 that spike, that's Iraq, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, clearly what, what's happening in, in Iraq at the moment is raising concerns about the country's territorial integrity, whether or not these ambitious plans that the country has to raise oil output by millions of barrels a day in the coming years will ever be realised if, if the country sort of splits apart. The, the, the current range we're, we're in, um, around 105, uh, what is it, 100 to yeah. 105 or thereabouts, any any sign will break out of that uh, in the near future? No, the market. I mean, the market's been trading very steadily at sort of 110 plus a, plus or minus five dollars a barrel for yeah. the last sort of two two to three years, and it's really trapped between. On the one hand, the market can see lots and lots of shale development coming along. Shale oil is probably profitable at 80 dollars a barrel or less. But in the short term, we're seeing this sort of growing number of, of outages. First of all, we saw South Sudan, then Libya, then Nigeria. Uh, Iran's oil has been kept uh, you know, largely off the market by sanctions. And now we're seeing mounting problems in Iraq, all of which means that you can see lots of oil in future. Yeah. But in the near term, the market remains you know, fairly balanced. Also means OPEC is now three countries, right? I mean, effectively, OPEC. So, I, OPEC is <laughs> more than ever before a one country show. Sure. Saudi Arabia and friends. Um, uh, effectively, you know, you're, you're talking about what production should we roll over, but there's really only one country now that can raise its output, mm -hmm. and that's Saudi Arabia. Um, if you think that OPEC was originally back in the 1960s, it was a deal between four big producers, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, and Libya. And they did a deal to try to, to limit the amount of oil on the market. Really, the, it's now a one-horse a one show. Yeah. Iran's penned in by sanctions. Iraq appears to be falling apart. Nigeria's production is falling because of, of, of local unrest. Mm -hmm. So it really is a, a one-country show.